Oh, Leslie's filling out the big check. Yes. Yeah, you know what that means. Donation day. Yes. <laughs> these are our favorite days, man. We love yeah. these days. For those of you who are new to the channel, mm -hmm. we take a portion of everything that we earn across all of our social media platforms and we donate it to veteran organizations as we travel. And this is in an effort to help those smaller veteran organizations, mm -hmm. to help veterans, to lower that number of 22 per day of veterans that commit suicide. Yes. These are organizations who don't have a lot of public funding, mm -hmm. don't have a lot of sponsorship, and these are in the trenches actually helping those veterans and they don't really they don't make a lot of money at it no they don't get a lot of benefit from it yeah a lot of them are former veterans or spouses of veterans mm -hmm. and their whole motivation is just to make the veteran community better and to help save some of those lives of those who are struggling with their demons with their mental illness and today we're going to a very special place yes for a for a couple of reasons yeah um, this place that we're going to is the place where we made our very first <laughs> donation ever. Ever. And it was so crazy. <laughs> We've because, been monetized for like maybe three months. <laughs> yeah. It was a little over four years ago. We had just started our YouTube channel. We just started making money. Yeah. And we wanted to give to them before we took off and hit the road. And at that point, we were like, okay, we're going to donate a portion of everything we make. But at that point, the, a portion wasn't enough. No. So we took, close. at that time, everything we had in our social media bank accounts and <laughs> emptied it and made a donation to the Waypoint Ranch for $250. Yeah. And to us, that was just awesome. Yeah. And today, we're going to make a donation bigger than we've ever made. This can be our largest donation. So, so the place we made our smallest and first Perfect. donation now we're going to go make our largest and probably most impactful donation that we've ever made. Yes. I'm super excited. And she thinks we're just coming by to check out her new facility because she's relocated. Yeah. And, and we wanted to, we told her, let's do a video about like where they are now since yeah. we donated. What's changed? What's going on at the, at the ranch? And so she's so thrilled just to show us the new place. Yeah, she thinks we're just coming to film an update. Hang out and have a Labor Day dinner. Yeah. <laughs> I want to just say thank you so much to the Wagster community, mm -hmm. uh, all of our viewers, subscribers, everybody who watches and, and donates and super chats and super stickers and buys our swag and shops on our Amazon and, mm -hmm. and all of our sponsors who help us out. I mean, we, this could not be possible right. without that help. We would not be able to give this money out of our own account <laughs> for sure. No. So it's not us. It's you. We're That's just right. the messengers. We're just making the delivery, but it's all you and we appreciate right. it so much. Exactly. Well, we had a plan when we went out to Waypoint Ranch yesterday, we had a plan and the plan was to to walk around the ranch and show you around the ranch and get Stephanie and Ray to tell us about what's going on at the ranch and uh, they took us out kayaking on the on the Flint River and it was amazing uh, we got to meet some of the veterans who are out there at the ranch and afterwards we had dinner and we got to talking with one of the veterans Corey who was in the Marine Corps and he shared his story with us and so <sighs> I thought that that message was way more important than showing you around the ranch. Um, so we're going to share Corey's story with you right now and how the Waypoint Ranch has impacted his life. And uh, we don't want you to miss out on, on seeing the ranch. So we will overlay some of those images that we collected while we were walking around the ranch. But I think the, th this is the first time we've had the opportunity to sit down and talk to a veteran of one of these organizations that we're making a donation to and see the impact that that organization is directly making on their life. And uh, I'm so thankful that he was willing to share his story with us and we hope that you get something out of this. Please stick around to the very end of the video. That's when we're going to make the donation. Uh, and that's when you'll see Stephanie and Ray on camera and us making that donation, this impactful donation. Before we get to Corey's story, really quickly, um, while we were out on the Flint River floating around kayaking, you know, I had some thoughts and I wanted to share those with you real quick. So I'll share those thoughts with you and then we will get to Corey's story and then the donation. It's really cool. They have this riverfront property back here with this gazebo where they hold events. Your veterans can meet and fellowship and share a meal. They have a little bungalow out here that they're going to 
eventually try to fix up and make it into like a like a weekend getaway for veterans to come out here and just get away and just sit on the river and enjoy life slow their pace back down get their mind back right uh, before they you know get back into the into the regular world and sometimes we just need that sometimes we just need a weekend a couple of days to get away with just our spouse reconnect you know be in nature um, being full-time RV we get to do that all the time but you know we forget that people you know their life gets it gets in the way and especially with veterans veterans with PTSD man uh, a weekend like this it could literally save their life. Uh, in 2016, it all really started there. I uh, was working as a some sort of ma uh, maintenance technician yeah. at a chicken plant, and I had slipped and fell 20 foot head first, and I had cracked my skull. They said that I had gotten up, and whenever I had gotten up, I had. Uh, went back down and hit my brain stem oh, as God. well, where it messed up my nerves. I had to be put in an induced coma uh, for a brain swell. Oh, Hematomas all the way down uh, in the back of my head. The doctors were worried about me having, uh, yeah. you know, any kind of feeling except aggression. Oh, okay, they were worried yeah. about aggression yeah. because of it, it messed up the uh, emotions part of my brain. Family members would act like they would come to help me but I didn't have any family member to help me at all okay. none I had to learn how to talk I had to learn how to walk I had to learn how to do every single thing so what I did was you'd uh, use a uh, word puzzles yeah every single day all day long since I couldn't work anymore or anything like that yeah I wasn't collecting benefits for workers comp which was only uh, $500 every two weeks oh is what I was working with for four years. So I was fighting that <laughs> for a very long time. I would literally crawl to the bathroom to take to give myself a shower. The family physician kept feeding me narcotics. And that's whenever I started acting like kind of crazy. I started hallucinating. That's whenever they sent me to the psych ward rather than to actually get me help yeah. Yeah. at all. I started walking back and forth all day, every day, from 8 o'clock to 8 o'clock, every single day. I would read Bible scriptures. Yeah. I would do every single thing that would give me my time because all you can do was color or something like that. Yeah. And then some people started following me, and I told them about what I was going through with the family and all that stuff. And it started with one, and then about 8 to 10 people at a time would start following me. Oh, wow. Off, up and down the corridor. You started to think. Yeah. And yeah. I was talking about the Bible and all that stuff. And I'm talking about like prostitution. They were trying to have a good life for themselves and their yeah. families and everything. But nobody accepted them because what they did. Yeah. And the psychologist or the psychiatrist there was just only feeding them medications. They finally found a place for me. I had to uh, stay in what they call a, a security level place. It was just like another cycle. Where I was, I didn't even want to go to the VA because I don't trust the VA. I started drinking a lot because they stopped, they, they didn't, the whole entire time they tried meds, but the meds weren't working for me out of those couple of years yeah. that I was going through workers' comp the first couple of years. So I started uh, drinking a lot of alcohol. The member that was already there, she told me that about Waypoint Ranch, Stephanie yeah. and Ray Sarasa. I met so many other veterans that needed help just like me. And I did not even know that there was that many veterans that needed help. And I'm not talking about just the veterans, I'm talking about veterans and families. Yeah. Though she had therapists, a, ther a therapist that worked there in the offices. Yeah. I started working with Ace out there, the gray. Yeah. Um, and I started working with him and me and him connected really well. Yeah. As in, like, I'm the only person that he allowed to work him in riding. And that's what horses will actually do, and I, that's how I came to find out about horse therapy. Stayed there for two years. And during that two years, working with horses, training horses, I started walking, doing the exact same thing I was doing with the, at the soccer board. I started walking with veterans, and I started helping veterans. But at the same time, I was still drinking a lot. The first couple of months I was there, I was drinking a lot. One day, I got really, really drunk off of whiskey sours. I lost it. I had a 22 uh, revolver. 
and I had literally, I, I had uh, tried to commit suicide. And whenever I tried to commit suicide, I held a gun to my head, pulled the trigger, and it hit just the outside of the primer. Yeah, I tried to commit suicide. Jay and Stephanie came up there and they set me down and they talked to me. I gave them the pistol. The next day, the therapist was going to uh, turn me into law enforcement. Stephanie and Ray, they told him to leave because I was staying. After that, I made a promise that uh, I would stop drinking. I don't drink anymore. And that's how they, that's how they help others is whenever you're feeding the horses, first it, it gets you away from the outside world and focus on a mammal that needs to be taken care of. Yeah. Once it starts doing that, then they'll start to get you to train with them as in like hands-on kind of stuff with the horse. Yeah. And by that time, you're not looking, you're not, you're not thinking about drugs. You're not thinking about alcohol. You're not thinking about the outside world. I wasn't thinking about workers' comp, and that's what they do. And they still do that today. Yeah. Every single veteran that needs help, they will literally stop what they are doing, focus on that person that needs help before it's really too late for anybody, including the family. What do you think in your mind, what do you think would have happened had you not found Ray and Stephanie at Waypoint Ranch? I would be on drugs. I would have been on drugs. I would have, I would, if not drugs, uh, definitely alcohol. I know that for a fact. They ask nothing in return. Other than to help veterans. That's it. Yeah. You won't find, I, I, don't, I don't think you would ever find anybody just, you know, as good hearted as, as those two. Yeah. Well, Stephanie Ray, thank you guys so much for having us out to the ranch yes. again. Again. And it's a different ranch. Right. <laughs> and it's so awesome out here. You guys have created such an awesome place mm -hmm. for veterans to come and get rehabilitated and connect with horses. And it's just awesome and what nature. you guys are doing. Um, we want to give the opportunity to the viewers to donate directly to Waypoint Ranch <laughs> so that it can help you guys grow and do more things with veterans. Um, but we need to know, like, if we donate, where is it going? Where's what, the money where's, going? What's the need? What are you going to do with it? Yeah. Well, the two main goals that we have here are to be able to continue to support people that that, that roll up in our driveway and might yeah. want to stay a while. Yeah. yeah. Um, so currently, right now, we're turning a, a, a storage building into a cabin for nice. the Marine that you talked to today. Very nice. Um, so he's in a bit of a transition, and we're yeah. uh, we're starting tomorrow actually. That's awesome. Um, with septic bathroom. Everything that he needs to be able to, to stay here Same. while he needs to stay here. Very yeah. Cool. Um, second thing that we do every day is have horses ready. Yep. So the herd of horses that we have here, um, some are older and mm -hmm. some are um, couldn't fit into regular jobs. So we give them a, a home for life, and so their health care and medical needs and food and yeah. you know, discretionary funds we would just use to take care of the animals, awesome. and then use to take care of, of, of folks when they show up. Very cool. And as you heard from the story, the impact that, that Waypoint Ranch is having on veterans yeah. directly. And I know you've heard Corey's story too, but when you're when you're the one that's 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 helping, um, you know, I don't I, I know that it impacts you and it sinks in, but as outsiders looking in and to see the impact and to, to sit there with him as he told his story and how you impacted his life and changed his life and then how he was able to stay on the ranch for a while yeah. and fellowship with other veterans and help them so not only are you helping veterans you're helping veterans get the tools to help other veterans yeah so you guys are like indirectly helping so many more than you're mm -hmm. actually directly helping so i wanted to, to point that out and, and let you know that man the veteran community we really appreciate what you guys are doing I'm, yes i'm grateful for that yeah. it's, it's hard work it's challenging yeah, yeah. sometimes it's gut-wrenching um, to watch, you know, people struggle, Strug yeah. and uh, it means a lot when they when they when they come back, yeah, and, and trust you enough to come back and either tell tell you how great things have been going for them, or how things might not be going so great yeah. right now. And so, 
when he started to open up to you in the living room, uh, yeah. he had he had told me about five years ago, one day I'm going to tell my story in front of a th thousands of people. Awesome. I'm going to be a motivational speaker awesome. and I'm going to share <laughs> my story of how I made it. And I'm, so I felt like today was, yeah, was the day. It was. It was a great day. And you guys, before we hit the road four years ago, <laughs> We stopped by Waypoint Ranch yeah. when we decided to do this crazy YouTube thing and donate some of the money that we do to organizations. We decided that it would be awesome for you guys to be the first, first one. And we were so yeah. proud of we that. We were so excited that day. Yeah, we donated <laughs> our us first us donation. $250. We didn't even have the big check back then. We had the little, yeah, just, yeah, a just a regular old paper, paper check, check. But that yeah. inspired us. That donation and the little impact that we could make with the little bit of money that we could give just inspired us even more. It lit a fire under us. Yeah. We were like, we got to keep traveling. We got to keep helping veterans and just kind of yep. spreading this love That's right. that yeah. veterans can share with each other along the way. So you guys were our very first and our smallest, smallest. donation. Today. <laughs> but our first. Yeah. So um, yeah. we have a surprise for you. Oh. Um, no. Yeah. <laughs> You're killing me. We're going to do another donation. Okay. Yes. Awesome. You guys were our very first and our smallest. And today... You're going to become you be our, our biggest. Oh, <laughs> You're going to become our biggest donation yeah, today. Exciting. But it's not from us. It's not from Dustin and Leslie. No. It's from, it's from the from WAG everybody. community, the Wayward WAGs community. Oh, they're People phenomenal. donate. Um, other channels get involved. They yeah. donate portions of what they what earn they to us so that we yeah. can donate to Veteran Roy. We would not be able to make this happen without all of them, all of our sponsors. So thank you all so yes. much. If you want to donate to the Waypoint Ranch, we'll leave everything you need to know mm -hmm. down in the description. But... Here comes the most important part. Leslie's gonna, Leslie's gonna go get it. Yeah. I'm getting choked up already. Oh, you had me crying the last time we did this. <laughs> so I'm gonna step over here and I'm gonna let Leslie get in here and she's okay. gonna do the presentation of the okay. check. Yeah. On behalf of everybody in Wayward Wagville, <laughs> <laughs> we are so excited to give you $5,000 oh to the waypoint we're at. Wow. Wow. Yeah! Wow. <laughs> Couldn't give it to a better group oh of people. Oh my gosh. You guys, you guys are phenomenal. You know, uh, you choke me up every time. <laughs> yep. This will this will cover that apartment. Will it really? Well. Oh my gosh, oh, that's, that's awesome. awesome. Yeah, we'll get that oh, done. That is cool. Yay. So that's what you just did. You just funded yeah. being able to renovate an apartment so veterans can live here and get therapy on site at Waypoint that's Ranch. So cool. That's awesome. <laughs> I've got to say thank you and congratulations uh, thank uh, you. To, the, to the two of you. People, you wouldn't have this kind of viewership if you weren't doing something that was great. Too. Yeah. Hey, thank you guys so much for donating, so much for watching and mm -hmm. supporting us so that we can do things like this. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans and veteran organizations like Waypoint Ranch, mm -hmm. everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video. We're going to honor a fallen hero, so stick around for just a few seconds. Yep. Appreciate you watching so much, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.